So today we will again create an API app in Flatter, with the help of ChatGPT, and at the end of the video I am going to solve your biggest problem, which you always face, in generating code from ChatGPT. And I have seen that many of you watch my videos, but do not subscribe to the channel. So please do, maybe this video will make us a family of 10k. So without wasting any time, let's start. So we are going to create an image search engine app. So first of all you have to open the browser, after that search fiddle. I have made many videos on this website. So first of all you have to sign up. After this, click on create project and from here we have to select material 3. After this, type the name and package name of your app. After this, create a new project and open it. After the new project is opened, now we have to open a new tab and open chat GPT. Now as you must have seen my previous videos in which we used to paste the code of Flute Lab on ChatGPT so that ChatGPT can analyze the code. But you do not have to do this because I have already created a print on it to create my email search engine app. It has everything. First of all, when you paste it, ChatGPT will provide all the details of that app that what features have been added on it and there is also an API. So we do not need all this. We need the code for our app. So you simply have to type give me full code. So ChatGPT will generate the full code along with guiding you. So this is our first code of main dot dot and above are all our packages and dependencies. So first of all we will install the dependencies and packages in our app. If you do not do this, then you will have to face some error. So it is necessary to do this. It is necessary to emulate all the IDs. So first of all we install the dependencies. So for this come to commands here. Come to search here. So here you can search any package and add the dependency automatically. Like I search HTTP here and come to the dependency file and as soon as we install the package here, the dependency will be automatically added to our dependency file. Like I just installed the package here. So you can see the dependency of HTTP has been added. Now in the same way we have to search all the packages and add the dependencies of all. After adding all the dependencies, scroll down and simply copy the code of main dot dot from here. Now after this we have to come to the one dot file in our foot LB. EO and replace it with our previous code. Now this code has all the feature functionalities that I have added in the print. And you will not get to see any error on this. If you have installed the packages like I have done now, then you can see that there is no error in analytics right now. Meaning all our packages are installed and done correctly and if you scroll down then you will get to see the URL of the website where you have to apply the API and if you scroll a little further then you will get to see where we have to apply the API of this website. So first of all you have to open a new tab. Now we will go to this website to get the API so that we can run our image search engine. So this website is a very popular website. The best images for images are on this website, you get to see things like wallpapers. So first of all you have to create an account. Click on new application and from here you will be told the guidelines. So tick all and create a new application and you can give its basic name. By the way, if you are asking about API, then create an application. After this you will get to see the dashboard. Here you will see how many requests have been used in your API and how many APIs have been used. So here you will get to see analytics. Now here you will also get to see two keys below and along with this you can use this API to send 50 responses in one hour. Meaning you can use it 50 times. If you want to do more than this then you will have to take premium. But it is right to use 50 in one hour. And you will get two keys here. One is ice key and one is secret key. So you have to copy the AW access key. This is our API. Copy it and come here and paste it. But right now we will not paste it. Without API, 
We will run our emulator now so that we can only see this AUI. Then after this we will apply the API and make it responsive. So let me show you by fast forwarding. So our apps emulator has opened. Right now it is not responsive and I have given a lot of customizations in the app for image search engine. So if you want, you can customize it a little bit according to your needs. You can do it by changing its font, color, pasting chat keep t code and giving more commands and if you want to customize it. So our app is ready. Now let's apply API on it so that our app becomes responsive and after this we will auto reload. So you can see that our app is fully working now and you can see random images are also showing on it. Now if you search any keyword, then its related images will show. Basically our response is going on API and is showing on our app and along with that you will also be able to download the images. If you search any keyword, then you will see its related images and if you want to customize it, you can do it on the app. I will provide its source code and its project file to you and such apps run on very demanding sites on Play Store. So you can earn a lot by applying ads on it. And you can customize many more by applying ads on the home screen. By the way, I made this app myself. So, I had put only basic features on it. Now let's talk about how we can build our app. So, there are many features in this ID to build. And there is also 64 for 32-bit Android. And by the way, if you do not understand, then select Android All. It will be for all Android devices. And if you want to do it for Apple devices, then you can run it on them by selecting ISO debugging and can also create a website. And I told you if you have seen the previous video ID that in this ID you can create multiple OS and websites from a single code. So you can do it on whichever you want. So I am going to do it for Android. So let's select all and build the Android APK file. So I will show you by first forwarding. Our APK file has been built. If you want, you can download it directly from here. But a mistake has happened. If you are building an app for Android, so here first of all you have to come to the debugging folder. Here you will find the manifest file. Here you will get a permission. So simply copy it. By the way, I had already done it. So if you have not done it once again, then do it. You simply have to create and open your main manifest file. Sorry, you have to open it. You have to open it. After this, paste this permission under the application tag there. This is basically the permission of the internet. After this you have to download your APK file. Also by scanning the QR. So your problem of generating code from ChatGPT has been solved. You just have to copy my prop and paste it on your ChatGPT. After which the code will be generated in front of you so that you do not have to generate the code manually and you will not have to face the problems of which package to install or not. You can get the complete code source code by pasting everything in one prop. And you will get the source code and props of this app on Telegram. I hope you found the video informative. If you found it innovative then please do not forget to press the like button and if you want to see more such content then please do subscribe. We are very close to 10 subscribers. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.